The trial of Oscar Pistorius ready to make headlines once again. The Olympic runner expected to take the stand this week. That's when he's going to get to tell his side of the story that murder was never on his mind and that killing his model girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp, was all he's going to say a tragic mistake. ABC's Ryan Smith has been following the trial and is with us this morning. Ryan, good morning. Good morning, Dan. Good morning, Biana. In South Africa, when a defendant takes the stand, he usually goes first. Not so here in the anything but normal Oscar Pistorius trial and it could work to his advantage. Oscar Pistorius, back in court after a 10-day layoff, but he won't be telling his side of the story just yet. You always want the defendant testifying at the end rather than at the beginning. The defendant's case, sprinting out of the gates with a pathologist. He's expected to refute prosecution theories about model Reva Steenkamp's position when the track star blasted four shots at close range through a locked bathroom door killing her in the early hours of Valentine's Day last year. She was standing in front of the door, facing the door. Pistorius, who has pleaded not guilty, claims he mistook Steenkamp for an intruder. But so far, the prosecution has lined up witness after witness, backing its theory that he intentionally killed her. Neighbors saying they heard the screams from inside the Blade Runner's home just before the shooting contradicting claims that the couple had harmoniously gone to bed early. Jarring autopsy photos of Steenkamp's body, causing the track star to break down repeatedly, but showing the gruesome nature of the killing. Prosecutors also depicting the track star as a gun-toting loose cannon. Sky News showed this picture of an armed Pistorius. And using text messages to show the tumultuous relationship between the pair. I'm scared of you sometimes. What will he say in court? Prior to trial, he provided an affidavit which gives clues to his side of the story, including this. Quote, I fired shots at the toilet door and shouted to Reva to phone the police. Reva was not responding. It dawned on me that it could have been Reva who was in the toilet. The defense's goal over the next few days, threefold, to dispute that the couple's relationship was anything but loving, that Steam Camp couldn't have been standing or screaming before or when he shot through that door, and by far the most important, to get the judge to believe every bit of Pistorius' account of what happened that night. Dan, Biana. Ryan, thank you, and we will, of course, be covering the trial all week right here on GMA.